Passing it over to Justin. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, Hey, everyone. Uh, Here's our uh, mascot again, flying on a jet plane. Um, Is there an engineering iteration release meeting for August 28th to September 7th for the digital experience team? Um, I'm going to hand this over to Nathan to kind of showcase what we worked on this iteration. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, so I'm going to do just a quick little demo uh, of the events landing page and like what it looks like to add an event. So this whole process is like every, all the engineers work this iteration kind of put into one. So I'm not trying to take away from anyone else, but everyone did like pieces and just the puzzle fell together. So uh, here I'll walk through what it looks like to create an event in Contentful. So I have it just running locally for now. Uh, you'll see here I have the events landing page. And it looks exactly like the one in production. We have a list of events, um, the filters, here's the videos. So I just wanna walk through what it looks like right now. So if you go through to Contentful um, and you see we have all the content models that we've added this iteration uh, and there's a content tab. So just a quick little demo on how to add an event. Uh, Right now I'm filtering by the event content type. Uh, And so these are all the events that we currently have and they have dates, they have the description, all the information about all the events. So if we were to add a new event, Let's call it awesome event. And then it's going to be a conference. And we got a random stuff. And we're going to put it on, say, the 15th to, oops, that doesn't work, 15th to the 19th. Um, I'm going to say it's in Ottawa. And that is in America. And then here, I'll just put, I don't know, Google. Uh, oops. Um, and then all you have to do is publish the event. So I'm going through super quickly, but obviously you'd fill this out with all the appropriate information. And then you can see these changes. Oh, did I close it? No, the banner's there. So if I were to refresh the page on the events, you will see awesome event. So that just shows you like we just created an event in two minutes. Uh, so once we get this set up with production, uh, all the pipelines go through automatically, the events team can come in, add their own events, have them show up here, have a link to wherever they want to go, change the dates on demand, delete events uh, within minutes. So this is just a, a small little tidbit of what's to come with the CMS, um, but kind of a quick little demo of, of all the content models, content types that we've been working on for the last two weeks. Uh, so I'm going to stop sharing for now. But on top of that, um, I also got uh, our review apps in the blog to be hosted on GCP. So it's no longer using Google Pages or, um, sorry, GitLab Pages. Uh, So it should allow us to use the previewer and some other fun stuff. Um, Yeah, I'll try and hand it off to Megan now. Thanks, Nathan. Um, I was out for most of this iteration, but I have three MRs that are ready for review. Um, one is setting up the new RSS feed or setting up the RSS feed for the new blog. Um, so that's the Adam feed. Um, another MR for uh, translated some QA across our site. So I was making all those bug fixes and content changes. And then lastly, um, made a like a skeleton section of our navigation to help with our content layout shift issues. So that's all ready to go. I'll pass it off to Javi. Thanks, Megan. Uh, this iteration worked with finalizing having the navigation being generated with Veet. I'll share my screen quickly. All right. So I kind of wanted to give like a good like pulse check for how this is doing. Um, I had two iter two issues written. One is the Vite specific one, but this is the the one where it's actually importing the nav. Uh, big thing to know is that the bundle size is went down from like 2.1 megs, about 200 kilobytes, which is great. Uh, you can see how the performance has improved through some of this. We won't really know the, the true impact until we push to production, but if we're pushing something down from 2 megabytes, 200 kilobytes, it should go up. Uh, so that was something that we're going to keep nailing down, making sure that this MR is nice and solid for a uh, release early next week. Uh, other than that, it's gone for a lot of the iteration, but I worked in migrating the solution homepage uh, banner. I created this content type for the logos, and then here are the links for them. And then MR is here for how to do that. 
I think right now all I have is just like getting the entries uh, from there and then just showing them in the console, which is great. That's it for me. Up next is, I'm going to just share my screen while I do this, is Laura. Thank you. Uh, yeah, earlier this iteration, Oh, okay, my camera just flickered. Earlier this iteration, uh, released the summit page um, for uh, the events team uh, and made some updates and changes as that got uh, some some views and some traction. Um, I created the executive events. Is it a new angle? I can't, whatever. Uh, um, I created some executive events pages for uh, Dallas and for New York um, and released those. Um, I closed out the component audit uh, issue, um, kind of linking each of those components uh, to their respective CMS issues. So, you know, you can see my recommendations as you're building out each of the content types in, in Contentful, um, if if it's relevant to, to whatever you're building. Um, we released the platform page. This has been kind of just sitting ready to release. Uh, we were waiting on a stage name update, but uh, that's kind of been sitting untouched for a while. So we released it as is, and, and when the stage name gets updated, we'll have to update that table. Um, I created a hero uh, content type in Contentful um, to be used on the events page. So I'm implementing that on the events page and then I'll work on the solutions um, hero as well. Um, I think that's it for me. Um, I'll pass it to Miracle. Uh, thank you. So, the, oh, can you guys see me? Um, okay, so this iteration, um, I finished implementing the Glex test on the feed free trial page. Um, pushing that to production is kind of in limbo right now because I'm waiting for another team's changes on the free trial page to go through before I release that um, experiment. Um, I also created a new nonprofit's landing page, which um, went through the review process. I'm kind of just waiting for, to uh, hear back on whether I can push that live today or tomorrow. Um, and then I also created the new nonprofit's join page. That's in limbo right now because I'm waiting for the form that's going to be on that page. I also made some changes to our marketing cookie. Um, the expiration on it got extended um, and I also changed the name so it's easier for other people to, uh, to understand what exactly that cookie is doing. Um, and then I started implementing, or I started the process of implementing some AI solutions into BE. Um, I originally thought that we could implement those using um, just the instructions that were based in the handbook, but it turns out that there is a different process for all internal repos that I'm digging into. So hopefully that'll be launched either Friday or sometime next week. Um, and with that, I'll pass it to John. Thank you. Uh, this iteration, I'm working to big uh, contentful uh, items. Uh, I will show it uh, real quick um, here. Uh, so the first one is the navigation. So I created uh, all the content types needed for the navigation uh, to satisfy our current structure in, in, in the code. So uh, real quick, I'm going to show that I have a footer. You can see here the footer with all the content that we have. Um, we have also all the references here, all the links that we have in the footer. Also, uh, the nav. I am sharing some links links between uh, the footer and the navigation. So if you change any link that is shared between those two, it will be updated in both the navigation and the footer. So that's cool be, uh, about Contentful. Um, the other one is the next step component. Uh, I created this uh, content type in 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 our uh, uh, GitLab space. Also, I created I created the different variants of the next step component. Uh, we have five different variants. Uh, each of, of of these is one uh, variant, and I can show you a real time change. Not this one, sorry. This one. Let's do a change here. And if I update here, you can see a change as Nathan did. Here is the, the change. And also as this component is different from, from the rest uh, regarding localization, I implemented localization in Contentful. So if we change the language, we will see, uh, we will see it working right now. So this is it. It has localization right now. You can 
uh, fields here. And I use entry localization, but we are thinking of changing it to uh, field localization. Uh, that's about it. And next one is uh, Miguel. Thank you, John. <clears throat> um, I also did uh, some content uh, content types on content for this iteration. I'm gonna share my screen. Um, yeah, so I worked on the asset and the button content type. Um, for the button, uh, we have a couple of uh, required uh, fields and uh, we have like uh, some optional fields like opening a new tab, uh, external URL and the icon and stuff. Uh, we went a bit of uh, back and forth with this content type, but I think it's good for, for an uh, MVC one. I also worked on the um, asset content type in the about GitLab space, uh, which is kind of simple. And with that, I also migrated um, the solutions images. So there are supposed to be all of them here now, um, which was also cool. Um, I worked on some urgent uh, content updates for this page uh, that went through last week. And um, I'm working right now on finishing this new component uh, for that uh, page. I also worked uh, kind of uh, kind of a lot uh, in this carousel. Uh, right now we're, we're trying to make it just right. So it gives the impression of an infinite scroll, but uh, yeah, I'll be doing that. And uh, yeah, I believe that was my iteration. Yep. Yeah. Uh, next is Mateo. Thanks, Miguel. Share my screen. All right, I'll go fast through the first one. This one was an issue with Facebook browser. Uh, header wasn't showing up, but ended up being just an issue in quantum metrics, so was closed out. Uh, this one was at the end of the previous iteration, but didn't get shown in the release. It was accordions for the white GitLab page, so it can be expanded here. Um, then multiple content updates. This one is for the VSA page. This one is for the an event page, New York one, and white GitLab. And then I was working on the the migration script is, is what I worked the most on this iteration. Um, the idea was to migrate the content from the dub, dub, dub blog to Contentful. Uh, this was the main script. It looks for the blog files in in the local dub, dub, dub repo and cross-references with the author files and looks for the images there in that repo. and bundles all that into our content types. So here they are. The results were pretty successful. It was uh, around 1,700 blog posts migrated, um, 600 authors, 23 categories. Um, it also does the references correctly. So for example, this author said he, we can see here, posts that are related to to him and here it is the posts have the image relationships and the content uh, something that I did also is we had a problem where the markdown was referencing um, relative paths for the images so since they were stored in the same repo uh, that didn't work in Contentful unless we uploaded every single image to Contentful. So the script also turns those relative paths into absolute. So they keep working and this is how it looks in the blog. So it is now filled up with all the categories and all the recent posts. Uh, here are by category and we can access the posts and it has the images. This one is coming from the markdown. So since it's now absolute, it keeps working and uh, we have also other posts that have related posts below that belong to the same category. So it, it will show recent posts in that same category without need to 
update. And yeah, uh, the script first pushes everything as a draft. So I also worked on a couple more scripts, uh, one to publish drafts uh, and one to update the slugs because for some reason, Contentful does not auto-generate slugs on migrated content. Uh, so this one populates all the slugs that we use to create the routes in the blog. Um, yeah, that was it. And next one is Margaret. Yep. Uh, so for the situation, I worked on creating the video carousel for the events page. I'm going to share my screen real quick. Let me know when you can see it. So this is the uh, event carousel uh, content type. Uh, so it's for using uh, uh, content types created by Miguel, uh, the external video um, content type, and he has its content type, and it's fully integrated too. So I'm also going to add some changes here. So you can see it. Here's the change. You can add uh, videos here. So this is a content type created by Miguel. Uh, so this is that content type and I'm just gonna keep it uh, short and leave it there. And so I also worked on updating some of the uh, DevSecOps uh, World Tour pages, uh, London, New York. I also created the Washington DC page. And I think that's it for my iteration. I'm gonna pass over for, uh, to Timmy, sorry. I'll, I'll go ahead and speak for it. TMA, she released the DevOps Survey AI tab this iteration. So we come down here, we got this third report, which is State of AI Software Development. Lots well, of great stuff. There's a press release that went out with that also. Super good. And then she also created the SEO content type, which will be reused uh, on lots of places. And contentful. So with that, I'll pass it over. Who's the next person? Justin, back to you. <laughs> oh, he's gone. All right. So I'm going to stop. Later. <laughs> <laughs>